Hi there YouTube, so I'm back with another tag and this tag is going to be started by me, hopefully. Um, people will, sorry, got like a stray hair going crazy. Um, hopefully people will uh, do this tag because I think it's a pretty good tag and it's very uh, useful information to you. Okay. So the title of this tag is going to be called, Glad I Got to Sample This. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the samples that I love that I will either repurchase or um, if I ever I run out of the other products I will repurchase or products that I have repurchased so things that I have repurchased um, two Christmases ago my little sister bought me a palette from Urban Decay and it came with this 24-7 liner pencil in zero and 24-7 liner pencils have definitely become my favorite kind of eye pencils of course, Zero has been a staple. This is um, one I just got recently in a, another palette. But if you have ever seen, I don't have it with me, but like my original that was long is like this small. And I've gone through one of this size, a long one, and you know, I'm sure I'll be working on this soon. But I absolutely love my 24-7 pencils. So sampling this, I'm glad I got to sample it, and I'm glad that it is mine and that I've got to try it and I'm using it. I love it. I love my 24-7 pencils. I love Zero. It doesn't transfer. It stays on. It's a really awesome eyeliner. Another thing that I got um, as a sample was this uh, by Facile, I don't know, uh, by Lancome and it is a eye makeup remover and you shake it up. It's got the oil and the water. You shake it up and you apply it on your little cotton ball or cotton swab and you can remove your uh, eye makeup and I really like this because it doesn't leave me super greasy like a lot of eye makeup removers do and so whenever this does run out no matter how much it costs I probably will be repurchasing this because I really do love this product so this is definitely something that I will try to get in um, once this is gone another one that I absolutely love that I ended up getting me a full size sample or a full size of is the High Beam by Benefit. I love this highlighter. It is a liquid highlighter and you just, it has a fuzzy on it, and you just dab it on wherever you want the highlight and it leaves such a pretty, sorry, leaves such a pretty shimmer. I really love it so I went and purchased me a full size and that's probably my go-to highlighter especially like go-to liquid highlighter that is it I love it it's a great highlighter as far as bronzers go I have a sample of the Park Avenue Princess and it's a very large sample it came in a try me kit and this is a awesome bronzer the color of it is gorgeous it leaves like a, a sheen not a shimmer and Put it on my hand. I don't know. I'm doing this video late at night, so I doubt you're going to be able to see the true color. This, if ever I run out of my other bronzers, I will definitely come back to repurchase this bronzer here because I really, I really do like it. Here it is on my finger. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a gorgeous bronze gold color. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely adore it. Definitely something I would repurchase if I ran out of my other bronzers. Just that's the only reason I'm not repurchasing it right now. Another thing that I had gotten um, that was sort of a sample size was Smashbox uh, lip glosses. And I happen to like Smashbox lip glosses. Um, they come with doe foot applicators, most of them. I think I might have some that have a brush. I'm not too sure. This one just happens to be in glitz. I actually got a kit that had several or a lot of these. Probably had like eight of them. And I really liked Smashbox lip, line, lip glosses. Excuse me. Did I say lip liners? I'm not too sure. Anyways lip glosses. Um, the color, the pigmentation is beautiful. They always have colors that accentuate or just flatter the face, flatter anybody. Okay, you could be light skin tone, medium skin, dark skin. I think um, Smashbox lip glosses are really neat and most of the time they come in uh, really good like um, sets so uh, they may be a little more on the expensive side but you can get a lot of value out of it if you get a set or a, you know like a try me set. So I do like Smashbox lip glosses. I have happened to repurchase several of those. Another thing that I do like is um, I had always wanted to try Tarte cheek stains, but they're a little on the pricey side. They're like $32 for a big one. And I actually do like these 
cheek set, um, cheek stains. This is the Perfect Pink Amazonian White Clay Infused Cheek Stain. And this was like my go-to summer color last year. It just left a perfect, beautiful glisten to my skin. It lasted for a really long time, even being a, you know, a creamy product. The smell is good. Um, it's all natural. What else can I say about it? It has all kinds of, you know, things free. It's like not, you know, it doesn't have any of the bad stuff in it. And I'm actually really glad that I got to try this. So, if I ever did run out of, like, blushes, I would repurchase this. Or I would suggest that you purchase any kind of um, tart cheek stain. Because I happen to like it. It's a great creamy cheek type product. So, um, the only reason I'm not repurchasing it, repurchasing this right now is because I happen to have a couple of more of the, uh, right, another trial size, and then two full sizes that came in a today's special value from QVC. So I do like the chart, ch tart cheek stains. Another thing that uh, I do happen to love that I actually have the full size of is the Tarte Light Camera Lashes mascara and I've already gone through one of these um, small ones uh, mascaras because I got actually I got two trial two trial tart try me type things um, they, if you're familiar with tart then you know that they have these um, try me type kits and I've got one off of QVC and I got one from Ulta I think uh, Sephora has their own also and they have like several different products that you can try and actually a really decent size um, really decent size products and they're trimies so it's not like you're getting like a really you know like benefit sorry benefit lovers I know you guys are gonna hate me for this but benefit does not give you a decent size product okay their trimies are tiny compared to tarts tarts gives you a really decent size product sample size and uh, at a really good price. So I have gotten several of their trimies and one of the trimies that I got was the Lights Camera Lashes and I really do like this mascara. It 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 lengthens it. I wouldn't say it really volumizes so much um, but it really does lengthen. It blackens the lashes and it separates them really nicely so it's a really good uh, mascara so I happen to like that and I happen to get a big one. Something that I'm like could live without Glad I got to try it. Okay, so I'm going to go into the things that like I don't really like. And I'm glad I got to try it before I bought it. That is the That Gal Primer by Benefit. I did not notice any... I didn't notice anything with it. I didn't notice any... It says brightening face primer. I didn't notice it brightening my skin. I didn't notice it keeping my makeup on. Uh, one thing I can say is that it does dry... Um, it doesn't have that oily feeling that another primer that I'm going to show you does, but um, it was just an okay product. I didn't really wreak any benefits from it, so this one here, I'm glad I got to try it in the smaller size. I will not be repurchasing it in the full size. One thing I forgot to mention, uh, for a long time I used my Tarte, this guy had like Tarte lift primer or eye lift primer something like that I loved that eye primer it was a great eye primer if I um, run out of the I have several other eye primers I have my Too Faced I have Urban Decay I have several other eye primers if I happen to run out of all those other eye primers I would definitely go back and repurchase the Tarte it's like Fermatol something I don't know um, I'll link it or annotate it uh, yeah it was a eye primer and it was a great eye primer so I would definitely go back and repurchase that one going back to the thing sample sizes that I or samples that I did not like Smashbox photo finish primer this here is not meant for girls that are have oily skin um, the feeling it leaves on your skin it feels like it feels soft but it's like silicone so it just I didn't like the feeling it left on my skin and I didn't feel that it worked for my oily skin like nothing held with this um, to me it just made my skin shiny it didn't keep the makeup from moving and I didn't care for this and unfortunately Smashbox keeps putting these in all their like 
palettes or gift sets or whatever. I wish they would get rid of this one, maybe put the light one in. They have a light version that's supposed to be better for like oily skin. I wish I could try that. And unfortunately, I have like three of these. I just gave one away to my little sister because she happens to have dry skin. So I'm like, well, because we saw it at Ulta actually today. And I'm like, if you want one of those, I'll give you one because I have plenty of them. Something else that I know everybody raves about, and I'm glad I got to try it in a sample because I absolutely did not like it, was Posy Tint by Benefit. I did not care for this at all, and to me, I tried it on my lips. Oh, it was a horrible color on my lips. It looked like, um, it looked on my lips, it looked like I was like a fake Barbie. I don't know. The color just was not pretty at all. Um. It, to me, it seemed like if you didn't hurry up and blend it out or it just like settled into like fine lines and, and pores and stuff and I didn't care for this at all. I prefer for a cheek stain, I prefer my um, Tarte cheek stains over the, the Posy tint. So I'm sure the Benetit would, Benetint would have the same effect on my skin. I'm not, I know everybody's going to hate me for saying me to benefit, but I don't care for it. Sorry. Um. I did care for the high beam. I will tell you, I love the high beam, but the posy tint, I did not. Another thing that I got as a try me was also by Benefit. Sorry, guys. And this is the Some Kind of Gorgeous. And I actually got a, I actually got a Benefit set from Sephora. And I knew that I wasn't going to like this. And I happen to think, like, one of the reasons why I didn't like it before, like this one, was because it was summer. So having oily skin, trying to use an oil-based product, I was thinking, okay, that's the reason I didn't like it. Well, I tried it again not too long ago, and it, it wasn't hot, and it still did not. I mean, it just totally settled and everything, so I knew I wasn't going to like that product. I was hoping that the other products that were in the kit were going to like supersede this and and be the reason why I spent forty dollars on a kit I was like forty eight dollars I thought those other things would like blow my mind and it wouldn't matter that this full size was in there well of course it proved me right and it's just a sucky product for someone who has oily skin I do not care for it um, it's supposed to be the foundation faker apply evenly all over face with fingertips blah 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 it did not work for me and I'm glad that I do not have the full size of it because it would probably sit in my drawer and they would never be used. The next thing is um, Banish and Brighten by Laura Geller. And this is supposed to be a concealing luminizer and this is in medium. And the idea of it is really neat. The effect of it on your face or the feeling on your face is really neat. You, It's concealer and you apply it with this metal and it's supposed to be like really cooling to your to the touch and it feels really nice <clears throat> as far as it concealing no way no no concealing out of this as far as it brightening it felt like it feels like water okay and when it dries like I saw no difference I didn't see I didn't see it covering anything I didn't con see it concealing anything and I definitely didn't see the brightening effect from this so I'm glad I tried this. They have a, a little bit of a bigger size on QVC right now. And I'm glad I got to try it with a Today Special Value Kit. I'm glad I didn't like say, oh, let me go and purchase that. Um, I tried it and I did not like it. So I'm glad like it was a trial type thing and not a let me go and purchase it on my own type thing. That's it, guys. So I um, hope you like this tag. I tag a softer version. It takes 221. Who else? Maybe the makeup station if you're watching this one. Um, I tag all of you guys to do it. Uh, Missy P80. I tag you guys. I dare you to tell me what samples that you tried that you're glad it was just a sample and that you didn't have the full size. Or maybe a sample that you just had to have and you went and bought just like my high beam. I had to have this in a full size because once this sucker ran out, um, which I happen to have two of these, once the sucker ran out, I did not want to live without it, so I had to go and get it. And that's it, guys. Hope you like this. Uh, don't forget if you give me... Ah! Don't forget if you like me, give me a big old thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.